um, an amazing illustrator called um, Harry Clark, who I uh, found in the British Library. Actually, I knew about him before, but I found some beautiful books that he illustrated um, some of Edgar Allan Poe's work. Um, and I looked at some of his illustrations of poetry, um, and there was a, a poem called Wild Swans. And so I looked at his illustrations of swans and kind of um, made my own from it. Um, my inspiration is from um, the really old storytelling maps um, and then I try to use the squares, the silhouette as the map and then um, create my own like, imaginary world and story in it. I'm inspired by the Japanese um, books which had um, little illustrations of clouds in them and also the traditional woodblock prints. Mm -hmm. um, so I kind of wanted to create something kind of like fantasy based. So I actually printed the Tyvek through my um, printer at home. Um, oh, and printed it kind of the background um, and then tied them together. And I kind of wanted to get a bit of a 3D effect. So I um, used kind of shiny paper so it would kind of attract from the, from the map effect of the background and then built them up. Um, and like kind of decorated them and then also made a little accessory headpiece which is kind of based on the Kanzashi um, Japanese um, like geisha headpieces. Um, yeah. The British Library has this fantastic online resource and I found some wonderful pictures of butterflies and I think because my uncle used to collect butterflies as a little girl I connected with those and I came in and out of the library and looking at different books. and also changing the colour quite dramatically. So I used acrylic. This, this started out with pieces of very clear acrylic, which I painted in different ways. Sometimes it was about three processes. Uh, the first involved putting one of the colour down, then some detail with black and white pen, and then sometimes as well I painted the colour on the back as well. For my inspiration, uh, I was looking at Henri Matisse and also Francis Bacabia. Um, I was looking at their kind of the technique of using collage but trying to relate that to certain parts of the garment. So rather than just doing sort of a really large, you know, like Matisse's snail, I wanted to be more about like pockets and lapels and buttons and how this can sort of work with print and also silhouettes and also breaking up the actual A line of the dress because I thought it works a lot better when it's sort of things coming out. And
Say the right word, make a million. Words are like a certain person.